Control panels are fundamental building blocks of automated systems. Despite their importance in industrial automation, the process of building control panels hasn't changed much in the last few decades. Building control panels is still a manual, labor-intensive job. Each panel is produced with a lot of manual wiring, testing, and troubleshooting. At Automation Fair in 2024, Rockwell Automation announced the launch of their new in-cabinet Ethernet IP solution. This product line was launched in 2025 and aims to revolutionize the way control panels are built. In this video, I will explain the current state of control panel wiring, how in-cabinet Ethernet IP aims to streamline the process of wiring control panel components, and how an in-cabinet Ethernet IP solution is built. Before we get into the main content, I want to introduce RealPars Business, who is the sponsor of today's video. RealPars Business is a learning platform that helps engineering and maintenance teams build the skills that they need to work effectively at their own pace and in their own time. Head over to realpars.com business to learn more about how RealPars Business can help to keep your team up to date with new technology, like in-cabinet Ethernet IP, to improve your maintenance operations and reduce downtime. A typical control panel is made up of intelligent devices like PLCs, HMIs, and network switches. These intelligent devices are connected together using an industrial network like Ethernet IP. A control panel also contains components like push buttons and contactors. These components are hardwired to the input and output modules on the PLC. Wiring each component to an input or output point is very time consuming since each wire has to be cut, stripped, labeled, and terminated. Some studies estimate that it takes six minutes to install each wire. There is also a high potential for errors when wiring these components. It is very easy to miss a wire or fail to terminate a wire properly. Because of this potential for error, a lot of testing is required to verify the wiring of a control panel. With Rockwell Automation's in-cabinet Ethernet IP solution, there is no need to hardwire components to the PLC. Instead, components are connected to the PLC using a multi-drop Ethernet cable. Let's see how it works. An in-cabinet Ethernet IP solution is made up of an 1834 AENTR gateway, a 1486 flat cable, and nodes. An 1834 AENTR gateway is used to bridge a standard round Ethernet cable with the flat cable that is used by in-cabinet Ethernet IP nodes. Each in-cabinet Ethernet IP gateway supports a flat cable of up to 25 meters in length, with 39 nodes connected to it. The gateway also has intelligence built in that allows it to discover nodes connected to it and automatically assign IP addresses to connected nodes. This makes setting up and maintaining an in-cabinet Ethernet IP system very easy. Finally, the 1834 AEN-TR gateway has dual Ethernet ports and embedded switch technology, which means that it can be installed on a network using the device level ring or DLR topology. A 1486 flat Ethernet cable is used to power nodes and connect them to a gateway. This cable comes in rolls of 10, 25, or 100 meter lengths. The cable has seven conductors. These conductors provide network power, or NP, at 4 amps to power the connected nodes, switched power, or SP, at 4 amps continuous, or 8 amps for up to 100 milliseconds for driving large loads, single pair Ethernet, or SPE, for communication, and select, or SEL, for locating nodes. The cable is terminated with a terminating resistor. Finally, nodes are connected to the flat cable using connectors that allow quick termination with standard tools. These nodes use phi-level collision avoidance, or PLCA, to determine which device can send information over the Ethernet cable. This protocol helps to ensure reliable communication between devices and the gateway. The initial launch of in-cabinet Ethernet IP supports two types of nodes. They are 100E and 104E global contactors 
and 800F 22.5 mm operators. 100E and 104E global contactors are connected to the flat cable using a front-mounted connector. The initial release includes support for contactors from 9 to 96 amps with interlocking for basic motor starter control. Operators are connected to the flat cable using rear-mounted connectors. The initial release includes support for illuminated and non-illuminated operators. The gateway and nodes are configured in Studio 5000 Logics Designer. To configure these devices, you will need to have Studio 5000 Logics Designer version 37 or above installed on your machine. The configuration uses add-on profiles just like any other Ethernet devices in a Studio 5000 Logics Designer project, so there is no training required to get started with in-cabinet Ethernet IP. Here, you can see a gateway with several devices connected to it. If you want to learn how to program Logix 5000 PLCs using Studio 5000 Logix Designer, check out our course, Learn How to Program Allen Bradley PLCs Using Studio 5000, linked in the description of this video. By completing this beginner level course, you'll learn the basic concepts of PLC programming and be ready to advance your knowledge by continuing your learning path with two other intermediate level courses. You can find the link to this course map in the video description. Rockwell Automation has commissioned a study to investigate the impact of in-cabinet Ethernet IP on panel building. They have reported that using in-cabinet Ethernet IP in place of hardwiring components in a motor control cabinet led to cost savings and sustainability impacts. From a cost perspective, panel builders reported an 80% reduction in wiring time, a 30% reduction in project engineering time, a 50% reduction in testing time, and a 14% reduction in capital costs. Since fewer materials are used in an in-cabinet Ethernet IP solution, there are also sustainability benefits, including a 10% reduction in panel size, a 32% reduction in panel weight, and a 90% reduction in copper wire used. This study highlights the benefits of in-cabinet Ethernet IP for specific applications, like motor control cabinets, which have typically been very labor-intensive. You can see the difference between a cabinet using in-cabinet Ethernet IP and a hardwired panel here. Behind the scenes, in-cabinet Ethernet IP is based on several standards. The IEEE 802.3 is the organization that defines the standard for wired Ethernet, including single-pair Ethernet. Single-pair Ethernet, or SPE, is an Ethernet technology that uses a single twisted pair of cables rather than the traditional two or four twisted pairs found in standard Ethernet cables. SPE has been used extensively in the automotive industry to connect cameras and smart sensors in cars. It has been adopted because the cables are less expensive and smaller than traditional Ethernet cables, while still offering high performance. Now, SPE is being brought to industrial automation for the same reason. The IEEE 802.3 has defined several standards for SPE. The standards are shown here in a table. ODVA, the organization that develops and maintains the standard for Ethernet IP, has extended the 10-base T1S standard to develop in-cabinet Ethernet IP. This standard was selected because it supports multi-drop topologies. A multi-drop topology is one where several devices are connected to a common Ethernet cable. ODVA has improved the performance of this standard to support longer cable lengths and more nodes. In-cabinet Ethernet IP was announced at Automation Fair in 2024. The official launch date is 2025, and the initial launch will include the gateway, flat cable, and operators that have been discussed in this video. A second version, expected in 2026, will introduce a supplemental power tap that can supply additional power for switching high loads, as well as support for 100 and 104E advanced motor starters. Subsequent releases will add support for more in nodes, like signal lights as well as support for safety devices. In this video, I have introduced in-cabinet Ethernet IP, 
which is a new technology from Rockwell Automation that aims to improve the way panels are built and maintained. If you want to keep up to date with new technology, like in-cabinet Ethernet IP, and help your team learn the skills that they need to be productive, check out RealPAR's business membership, which is linked in the description below.